so it's the truck's turn now uh, after the dart had it done last week so now it's time for the truck to get a new transmission um, while I'm at it I'm gonna go ahead and change the steering box it's leaking and whenever it leaks it shoots power steering fluid everywhere all over this engine it's actually just got uh, gunked it's not nasty anymore so I'm gonna go ahead and change uh, that steering box uh, change the oil while I'm at it uh, all in one go while it's in here and maybe see if I can actually take this thing on the road and drive it <laughs> So I put the transmission in this thing and it runs and drives just fine uh, and I wanted to play around with some wheel options here. So as you can see I've got a nice set of 14 by 8s that I bought uh, that swapped me the last time I went and just trying to see what they would look like. I also have a broken stud I just now found but I mean obviously don't need a taller tire. If I were to run something like this it'd be like a 275 60 all the way around. 14 will fit on the back. I just really wanted to see how the uh, offset would look and whatnot. I really would like a set of 15s though, simply because, well, I'd have to in the front because they hit the caliper on this one. This is actually a factory Little Red Express wheel, just to show you guys kind of what I'm thinking. So if I can get a set of 15 by eights, 275 60s, and I really like a slot mag. That's kind of my idea, but I'll go ahead and show you what I'm doing right now while I have the wheels off this thing. I'm going to, like I said in the last video or so, I'm going to try and get rid of all this white on this truck. So the next step is to go ahead and paint these black. So they're all scuffed up and ready to paint. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, probably won't get me video in any of the uh, painting because last time I did I got overspray on my GoPro so I'm probably just gonna go hide this thing and then show you guys what it looks like at the end. Here's also the petty truck engine. It's got new cam, you can see it in there, new lifters, valve springs, uh, water pump, it'll have a new fuel pump, uh, all new gaskets and everything cleaned up really nice on the inside. It'll be it's gonna be ready to put in as soon as we get the black truck torn apart. I uh, just picked up some motor mounts, but right now what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to go ahead and get my truck in here, and I'm going to uh, put some spark plugs, plug wires, cap, uh, rotor button, and everything in it. Uh, see if I can actually make this thing run a little bit better. It's got a little bit of a miss at certain points, you can tell, so I think that uh, fixing some, some of this stuff might actually help it out a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and get it in the shop. So here's everything that I'm going to go ahead and add to it. I've got a new set of spark plug wires. Uh, here's my cap. Here's my rotor button. And here's my new spark plugs. Um, these are just, these aren't like performance stuff. I'm just trying to uh, change out what's already on it because I don't really know much about what's on the truck. So it's better to like go ahead and just start fresh with a good set. And it doesn't hurt because it's cheap to do this. It's been about 50 bucks overall for all of this, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, swap all of it out and just see if it runs any better. There's my new cap. There's my new rotor button that'll go with it. There's all my plug wires. I right, got the cap and the rotor button in. I went ahead and just swapped over the plug wires that were off the old cap. That way that I don't get anything mixed up. And I started it up just to make sure that everything was alright. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull all these old spark plugs. I've already loosened this one up. There's an old plug. It's got a little bit of oil on it, which is not a big of a deal. It's a little sooty, but um, might help the fact that I've got these new auto lights here. already had this gap to 35 thousandths. I'm going to put that in, and then when I put it in, I'm going to take that old plug wire off and go ahead and swap it out. Lay all your plug wires out, and then take it and lay your, new, your old one out next to your new ones. And then that way you can uh, stretch all of them out and see which one's the closest to the length. Well, there it is. All I have to do is uh, do that seven more times and I'll be done. So there's a scrap yard of what was left. Got all the new plug wire, spark plugs, cap and rotor all in. 
And I guess I'm going to show you guys uh, what the old one looked like. Now you can see how the uh, the actual contacts are kind of worn on the inside of the cap. I mean, it, it's not bad, but uh, they're kind of worn, and that can affect things. And this rotor button, you know, it's got a, it's got a worn spot. I mean, they were there. There's nothing wrong with any of it. It was just probably a good idea to go ahead and replace it all while I can, being the fact that like that way I know what I have in it and you know to keep any kind of unknowns away from me so yeah uh, we're gonna go ahead and see if it'll start well I finished painting up my wheels and you're probably wondering why in the world are they on the petty truck now well a good reason would probably be this tire right here as soon as I got them painted decided hey it wants to stay flat and it'll only air up for a few hours and then it goes right back to this so instead i took the wheels and tires off of this truck and traded them for mine so now i've got 15 by 7 uh cop car wheels with 255 60s on the front 275 60s in the rear and these are just temporary because eventually i'm going to buy a set of tires and they're going to be the 275 60s all the way around uh, but that was just that so i wouldn't have to have tires that kept going flat on me and these look better so I like them anyways. It's ready to go into the frame of the uh, black truck. Uh, all we have to do, uh, these tabs right here are actually blocking the uh, valve cover from sitting on all the way. So those are gonna have to be just smoothed out a little bit. But uh, other than that, uh, these two plugs back here need to go in, that right there and then that one right there. But it's got all new freeze plugs, uh, the intake, uh, distributor's new. Everything is ready to go into the truck. All we have to do is take the black truck body off put these two together put the transmission together and this has new front and rear seals and a new gasket new uh, filter in it so once these go together uh, they'll be stuck in the truck and then we'll go ahead and start uh, putting everything back together but for right now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get rid of these hideous RV seats and this uh, house carpet that is just disgusting um, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of all that and I'm not gonna paint the door panels today. I wanna do that though. Uh, it's raining outside, so I'm not gonna really do that. I'm gonna take these out and then I'll show you what the new ones look like. So this is a, a 79 Dodge truck. It's a slant six automatic. Uh, it was gonna go be sold for scrap. So my dad picked it up, uh, saved it. So it's got a lot of good parts on it and we're gonna use every bit of it that we can. Uh, what I'm gonna take for right now, this seat, it's not perfect, but it's better than what I got. So, and I mean, that's the only spot right there, a couple little nicks right there, but I'm, I'm not worried about it. I'd rather have a bench seat than those uh, huge bucket seats. And it's got this really nice uh, rubber floor mat in it with no tears in it. I'm gonna clean that up and set all that inside my truck just to get rid of all that uh, nasty carpet and those bucket seats. It's got a lot of good parts and we're gonna save every bit of it that we can. We pulled it up here yesterday. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that I had posted a picture of us pushing it up here with the tractor. So I've got the seats out, I'm about to pull the carpet out. I have realized that I'm gonna to have to pull the buckles out of the other truck, but that's no problem. Um, one thing that I remembered whenever I bought this truck was that it has uh, a few spots in the floor from rust, from this carpet holding a lot of water, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and get everything back into this truck, and then later on, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and patch the floors at a better time, because right now it's just not a really good time to do it. But, so yeah, let's go ahead and pull this thing out and just see what we got up under here. Looks like somebody has taken uh, house carpet and just stuffed it up in on top of the factory carpet. See, there's a there's a spot of rust right there. Let's take this all out. And there it is. That's that's all factory carpet right there. Uh, it's it's kind of weak right in this little area right here right up under the pedal uh, That's where the actual the original pedal is supposed to uh, sit in there So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to clean up this vacuum it out and then go start on getting the seat and the floor mat out of the other truck and start putting it back in
there it is. It was a lot easier to get out than that last one, I'll tell you that. Here's a rubber floor mat out. I got one side soaking in some cleaner right now. I was going to do a before and after and let you guys see uh, how much better it looks once I clean it up. So there's one side clean. I just sprayed it down with some purple power, took a brush to it, scrubbed it up a little bit, and it looks so much better. Way, way better than what it did. Well, here we are the next day. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a, a better look at the interior after I finished it up. I need to go back and clean up the uh, the mat again. I didn't get all of it, but yeah, uh, there's the new seat in. Still got to work out the seat belts. I got a set that I'm going to put in because uh, these, I don't really think these came in this truck. Somebody just put them in there. But I've got seat belts here for a lap belt in the middle. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, I've got some retractable lap belts that go on that side. I'll put them in. And yeah. So it's a lot better from that house carpet and those huge RV seats that were just disgusting. I hated them. And this is a lot better looking and it looks factory. It matches the truck a lot better. Thank you so much for watching this. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about all this and I'll see you guys the next one.